minimum epic requirement though it might not be a very relevant point today but I thought to include this as might be a situation for some of the enterprises if you are running or if you wish to upgrade your ACI fabric to a firmware version higher than 2.2 it is amended to have an SSD in your Cisco UCS rack mount server that we talked about during the hardware initialization or else it won't work that's amended right for the I have uh, shared the link on the screen as well if you want to go through the release notes for this particular version and uh, on the CMC GUI this is how it would look like you can go into the storage uh, the RAID controller further there you can see if you have an uh, HDD or an SDD uh, SSG or, or both this is what we need to have uh, for for the AP controller which might be running or which is supposed to run be beyond uh, 2.2 of version now let's understand why we need three AP controllers since the ACA fabric is a data center solution, we all know how crucial this part of services become. So anything without redundancy is a big no, right? So number of EPIC has to be at least two. Number of EPICs has to be at least two. Now why three? The answer is uh, the master election process among the controllers that occurs will be the master out of the three. The design of APIC software is such that if, uh, if there is just one operational APIC left, the fabric won't go in, uh, the fabric would go into the read-only mode. So if the APIC number is two, the fault tolerance would be an issue. Furthermore, with two APICs, it could lead to a split brain scenario between uh, among the APIC controllers. With clustering operations, APICs leverage the concept of uh, majority and minority. Majority and minority are used to resolve split brain uh, scenarios. In a case where split brain uh, has occurred, two APICs such as APIC1 and APIC2 can communicate with each other but not with APIC3 and APIC3 is not able to communicate with either APIC1 or APIC2. Since uh, there were any, there were an odd number of controllers to start with, APIC1 and APIC2 are considered to be majority and APIC3 becomes the minority. If they were to start with an even number of APIC controllers, it will be more difficult to resolve which majority or minority are. While an APIC remains in minority state, read request will be uh, allowed but will return data with an indication that that data could be stale. So this slide is uh, just a brief summary for what we have discussed right now. Just read line by line and uh, you can simply understand. So as we are mentioning here that uh, For one epic, obviously no fault tolerance. Data lost for a single failure. For two epics, write an availability with single failure. Can recover if epic is replaced. For three epics, if one epic is lost, other two can elect new reader and continue writes. If two epic lost, we go into minority behavior. No writes. It basically goes into read-only mode. Okay.